Hello guys, welcome to this uh, new video. This one is a requested question for question number 14. So express 108 as a product of its prime factors. This one is pretty easy. We just have to find the prime factors, right? So 108, as you can see, it is an even number. We can divide by two to begin. That will be 54. Divide by two again, that will be 27. Divide by three, that should be nine. And three, three. So your prime factors is two power two times 3 power 3. Now for part B, written as products of their prime factors, we have two numbers, n and 500. Now the HCF has been given to you by this one, and the LCM has been given to you by this. So we have to use these two to find the values of PQR. So now, to understand how to find the answers, we first have to know how do we find HCF or LCM, right? For example, let's say I have a number P, which is equal to 2 power 2 times, let's say, uh, 3 and times 5 power 2. Let's say I have a, a number n, which is equal to 2 times 3 power 2 and times 7. So my question is, uh, is find the, first find the HCF, highest common factor. How do you find that? So you look at P, list out all the elements. You have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 and n you have 2 times 3 times 3 and times 7 so HCF we have to look at the common factors so we have to match this matches with this this with this so that's the only two that matches so your HCF will be 2 times 3 so that's how you find the HCF by finding which one is common with those two now how do you find the LCM LCM we have P is equal to 2 power 2 times 3 times 5 power 2. N is equal to 2 times 3 power 2 times 7. Okay? So how do you find the um, LCM of two numbers? So you have to observe what prime factors we have here. We have prime factors, sorry. Prime numbers we have 2, 3, 5, and 7. So for each of those numbers, we have to see where does it happen the most. So first one, for number two, we see here we have two only power one. Here we have two power two. So we take the most, we take two power two times. Here we have three. Here we have three power one, three power two. So we take the most, three power two times five. So here is only five. So take five power two. And finally, that will be times seven because only it is only here. So that's how you find the LCM. So putting this in, uh, in your mind on how to find those numbers, we can try to solve to find the value of PQR. So first one, we know that the HCF is given by 2 power 2 times 5 power 2. So HCF again is with the, what is common between those two. So we have two numbers here. N is 2 P times 5Q times 7R and 500 is given by 2 power 2 times 5 power 3. Now if you observe, for the 2 part, your answer is 2 power 2. So P can be 2, but P can also be 3. It can be 4, it can be 5. So we cannot really conclude what P can be. So for now, let's not take any values for P. Now for this one, your answer is 5 power 2, which means that it is, so only 2, so only 2 matches, it means that here we need to have 5 power 2 for your answer to be 5 power 2. So Q has to be 2, that is confirmed. And for this one, we don't know yet. Now we have to look at the LCM for this one, given by 2 power 3 times 5 power 3 times 7. Again, look at the real numbers given to you. So 2 power P times 5 power Q times 7 power R and 500 is 2 power 2 times 5 power 3. So now you have to observe, just like we explained before, how do you find the LCM? So for your LCM to be 2 power 3, as you have seen, we take the max. So here the prime factors are 2, 5, and 7. So as you can see, 
for number 2, we took 2 power 3, where it happens the most, it is not this one. So it means that this has to be 2 power 3, so p has to equal to 3. Now this one we know already, which is 2, that's okay. And now for this one, there's only one choice. As you can see, we have 7 power 1, so this has to be 1. So that's how you obtain your answers, 3, 2, 1, for the values of p, q, and r, by using those two information. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. As always, if you guys have any other questions, leave me a comment below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And thank you for watching. I will see you soon.